What's up guys, Adam here, and today I have a review of the KTOR Pocket Socket 2. The Pocket Socket is an emergency hand crank power outlet. Before I get into too much about how it works and what it does, let's take a look around the device. First, we have a yellow rubber band with some KTOR branding to hold together the pocket socket when it's not in use. Past that, we can see a slightly glossy black finish. And on top, we have an embossed KTOR logo. The device also features some raised dots for extra grip when you're cranking this thing. On top, when we pull back the handle, we can see a power outlet with a neon yellow sticker beneath it that pretty much just says to read the instructions before use. To crank it, simply grasp the handle and the body of the device along the dotted grip and start going around in circles. A pretty neat thing about this is that you can turn either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now let's go ahead and test out the pocket socket with my iPhone 4. Simply plug in the wall adapter and the cable into the pocket socket, plug in the 30 pin to my iPhone, and get cranking. As you can see, after a very short amount of cranking, my iPhone begins to charge. But then, nearly one second later, it stops. Crank for another second or two and you get maybe half a second of charge. For a while, the phone would just go on and off with the charging. Show me a close-up of the phone, you can see that it does stop and start quite often. But, after a little while of steady cranking, I could get a solid charge until I either slowed down or stopped. The pocket socket isn't just used for charging phones. It can charge nearly anything that uses a regular power outlet thanks to its 10 watt output. It can charge my iPad, as you see here. It can charge my Tilt Zumo. It can charge my Kindle Touch, and much more as shown on KTOR's website. When you finish charging, you can simply fold down the handle and replace the rubber band for storage. Overall, I would have to give the KTOR Pocket Socket 3 out of 5 stars. 2 stars missing because it was pretty unsteady while charging your device. It seems somewhat bulky, even though it's about the size of a water bottle and it has a pricey price tag, selling for $65. US In the end, I would recommend this product if you do a lot of hiking or camping, and if you're willing to drop $65 on it. Well, that's about it for this review. If you liked it, please subscribe and share this video, and I'll see you in the next one.